And next is the last paper presentation for today by Professor Dr. Kinya Tamaki and his co-researcher, Associate Professor Dr. Yoshiko Goda from Aoyama Gakuen University in Japan. Dr. Tamaki received his PhD from Waseda University School of Science and Engineering in 1989. He is a professor of School of Business Administration, Aoyama Gakuen University. He currently serves as the Director of Research Center for E-Learning Professional Competency at Uyama Gakuen University Research Institution since 2005. His research interests are mainly human resource development for e-learning professionals and innovative business strategy. And as for Associate Professor Dr. Yoshiko Goda, his co-researcher, she is the Professor of Faculty of Social and Management Studies at Otemae University in Japan. She received a PhD in science education at Florida Institute of Technology in 2004. She also serves as a chief manager of e-learning support group, Digital Educational Support Incorporated Company, and is responsible for an e-learning project implementation at the university. She's right now a visiting fellow at Research Chen Center for e-learning professional competency at the Aoyama Gakuen University, and her main research interests are e-learning project evaluation, global learning, and innovative community. And together, they will be presenting the topic of the collaborations among e-learning professionals for quality assurance of e-learning. And I give the stage to Professor Dr. Kinya Tamaki and Associate Professor Dr. Yoshiko Goda. Thank you for introduction from us. And we are very honored to participate in, in the ASEM conference, Lifelong Learning in Thailand. And we uh, ex would like to express special thanks, Kaokun Kap, to uh, faculty uh, committee member of ASEM conference, and especially uh, faculty member of Thai Cyber University. Thank you. I uh, will uh, now to present to you the collaboration among e-learning professionals for quality assurance. I am Tamaki. Uh, I am a faculty member of the Ayamagaku University in Tokyo. And the next presenter is Dr. Goda, is a faculty member of Otema University in Kobe. And we have uh, another two uh, co-authors, including in the full paper, is Mr. Gondo and Mr. Naganuma. Now we start to the present. It covers our five departments, uh, seven departments, and uh, 11 graduate school. Uh, population number of students around uh, 20,000, and uh, all uh, department and graduate school. Is, uh, this is the center uh, of the research and education. ELCO is included in this uh, research institute. Uh, I am director of ELCO, and ELCO has the four field e-learning professional cultivation in, in educational contents, learning organization, educational system. Now, uh, when we start to the e-learning professional competency program, we could grant to of the 21st century uh, good practice program by Japan Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, and Technology. We started in uh, 2006, and we had developed the curriculum and 26 courses. And we have the five type of professional uh, classification courses. And now our students to enroll more than 400 students. And uh, uh, totally uh, 31 students could receive professional certification. Already we started the uh, business people to the program 
47 business learners received basic certificates. Uh, this is the figure of the, our outline of the ELCO program. We have the mainly three goals. First is to develop an e-learning professional competency program, including curriculum and 26 courses. Uh, when we uh, develop the competency program, uh, reflecting Japanese uh, educational needs and characteristics. But we use to the uh, result of Asia e-learning network research of e-learning professional from 11 country, uh, surely include in the Thailand. Uh, this project uh, granted by the Japan Ministry of Economy, Trade, and Industry. Uh, this project had developed skill set over e-learning professional. Then, uh, second goal is to educate students through course provided from different department. For example, uh, economics department business department, literature department, and uh, uh, education department, and uh, graduate school. Uh, third goal is to distribute the program internationally to other university and organization. Uh, intellectual asset management of Aoyama Gakuin is the this the inner uh, organization in IM Gakuin. Uh, IMAG is supporting our intellectual property management. Uh, the GP grant ended in March of the tw 2007, and ELCO is now at the, this stage. We are now making effort to distribute to the program and create the international qualification structure of e-learning professional to establish quality assurance. ELCO is now uh, uh, researches on international collaboration and global learning and focus on to now, from now to the new international qualification. Uh, this is the five e-learning professionals, instruction designer to design e-learning course. A content specialist created the develop effective teaching material, and instructor teach specialists, meet and support students from both academic and emotional aspects, Learning system producer is to be responsible for management of a whole learning system, including improvement of the system, and to support instructor and the mentor. Uh, next one is the FEN curriculum, uh, develop the curriculum uh, based on the uh, full skill set we previously mentioned of the RGI network. We reconstruct this uh, full skill set. Under uh, this question, uh, we thinking about the comparison of the ELCO skill set to other criteria of outside organization. To this uh, skill set, uh, categorize to the instructor, content specialist, mentor, uh, so on. Uh, this is the curriculum and 26 courses. Uh, instructor design, content specialist, instructor mentor, and learning system producer. Uh, this course divided the uh, five group courses. Basic group, uh, general knowledge group, uh, professional skill group, 
practice group and graduate school. And uh, uh, this is a mandatory subject and the same mandatory subject, elective subject. For example, instruction designer uh, should be take the uh, six mandatory subject and the two semi uh, mandatory subject and uh, one elective subject. They should be passed with the nine subjects. Uh, when we uh, to develop the curriculum, uh, collaboration is necessary among the five e-learning professionals. According to the introduction design process, we develop to the, for example, uh, analyze, design, develop, implementation, evaluation. This uh, green uh, box, for example, the instruction designer covers the analysis and the design phase and the evaluation phase. And the dot line box sub practice and the instructor is the collaborative to support with instruction designer. Okay, afterward to the uh, presented by the Dr. Koda. Well, um, let me introduce uh, Aoyama Gakuin University's practice as a case study. Uh, so for the collaboration, uh, there are uh, six staff at the ELPCO right now, and uh, here is a chart for each staff's uh, role uh, as e-learning professionals. And then uh, knowing their own roles in instruction design process uh, is really important to provide quality e-learning. And then uh, I would like to introduce briefly step-by-step uh, -step according to the phase. Analysis phase, uh, instructional designer and instructor collaboratively uh, set starting point and goal point of the e-learning. And then uh, design phase, uh, instruction designer and other practitioners uh, set concrete learning goals and design the course. And then development phase, uh, instruction designer, content specialist, and mentor and learning system producer uh, develop teaching materials and digital contents based on the storyboards uh, which instruction designed uh, on the design phase, selecting suitable media and considering educational layout. And then uh, at the implementation phase, instructor, mentor, and learning system producer collaboratively work for providing a better e-learning course to students. And so learning system producer uh, manages uh, course implementation with learning management system, and instructor as a professional of teaching uh, he or she teaches with digital materials and facilitate learning activities on the LMS. And mentor uh, supports learners, uh, learners to complete the course on the LMS. And then the finally, the, uh, the evaluation phase, uh, instruction designer and other practitioners uh, get some uh, formative evaluation and summative evaluation uh, for improving the course. So this is uh, the kind of quality assurance from the process view. And then next, uh, we would like to introduce like a, a product perspective to assure the quality of e-learning. And we use uh, Dr. Marshall's e-learning maturity model as a gu guideline and then uh, we try to optimize uh, our uh, institutional strategy for using e-learning. And um, so for quality improvement, uh, we are doing information management sharing among LPGO's e-learning professionals and managers. And for if we see the course individually, uh, we 
uh, use evaluation activity uh, among practitioners and also uh, third party evaluation. I would like to introduce third party evaluation next. So we set criteria for program quality evaluation priority uh, to provide uh, e-learning courses. We have, Elupco has a uh, research uh, group of evaluation, uh, and then so the research group set the criteria uh, first before providing the uh, e-learning courses. And then there are four major parts of the criteria, organization, uh, evaluation and program evaluation, and third, like learning effects and learning activities. Then uh, we have frameworks. Uh, there are four levels. And so we are doing course evaluation and also evaluation using data mining methods uh, for having some overview of learners' activities, learner tendency, or learning styles, something like that. And level three, evaluation for each professional's competencies. And also level four, evaluation for uh, our um, research groups, evaluation activities. We would like to improve our evaluation activity as well. And this is our procedure of course evaluation. Uh, so we set external evaluator um, here and then um, here. And also the first, at the end of the term, uh, each practitioner has to have self-reflection about the course. And then we got those information, and then evaluator evaluate using uh, self-reflection of practitioners, and then make a report. Maybe this one might be easier to follow. So there, here is the flow of the evaluation activity. And then uh, the characteristics of our evaluation activities uh, has mainly two. Um, one is using practitioners' self-reflection, and another one is we try to make the evaluation more course-oriented. So even though there are like third-party evaluators, uh, we ask the evaluator to uh, take the course by themselves, and then they reflect their experience to the evaluation. And uh, so this is a sample of each course evaluation. Uh, it includes formative and summative evaluation. Now um, we would like to introduce about the establishment of a quali qualification system in Japan. And so, uh, as uh, Professor Tamaki mentioned about the certificates of Elupco, uh, so far 31 students received uh, professional certificates. And they started work uh, outside of the university. And so we try to follow what's going on after learning, after taking the certificates. And then uh, this is, so we try to find the uh, we try to seek uh, the cooperation with other organizations to add the value of our own certificates. And here is a, a consortium. There is an co e-learning consortium in Japan. And uh, so we try, we collaboratively work to build qualification system of e-learning professional in Japan. Um, E-learning consortium, so-called ELK, uh, sta established in 2001, and uh, around 104 um, part-time members joined the consortium. And then um, uh, they have also providing E-learning professionals qualification uh, since uh, 2007. And this is a kind of uh, qualification system that the ELK provides currently. And then uh, after careful review of competencies and skill sets of both programs, uh, we started to uh, apply um, 
both qualification, corresponding qualification between, uh, here is a table, corresponding qualification between Aoyamagaku University and ELK. And maybe this might be easier to see. Here is the curriculum of our program, and then there are basic four courses to apply ELK's certification uh, basic. And adding to these four courses, uh, practice of course implementation and learner support course, then they can get uh, EDUCU's tutor certificate. And this is a flaw to get the certification. Uh, as Professor Tamaki uh, explained about uh, qualification system, so students at the AGU has to pass nine courses. And then after that, they have to take comprehensive exam to get the certificate of Elipco's uh, e-learning professional certificate. And then they can apply for uh, Elipco's certificate as well. And I would like to introduce future plans uh, and also other projects at Elipco. And, okay. and here, uh, is there are three uh, future plans for international education. Um, so we would like to establish standard qualification system for e-learning and ICT use education professionals who are able to provide quality education internationally. And then uh, we would like to develop e-learning ICT youth education professionals cultivating program based on the standards and then provide a program and implement uh, trainings via e-learning system internationally. And here is a standard uh, by International Society for Technology in Education. Uh, please focus on force like a promote and model digital citizenship and responsibility is one of standards for educational technology issued by uh, ISTE. And uh, its, its requirements say that teachers understand the local and global societal issues and responsibilities in an evolving digital culture and exhibit legal and ethical. So when we develop uh, international training or educational program for e-learning professionals, we have to add this view. And uh, so this is kind of framework for research fields in the future. Um, so literacy, communication, and pedagogy. And then maybe we can use one of possible research approach, emic and ethic. So we have, uh, like a cultural differences and diversity. And so we have to figure out which are universal. So culture independent part and which one should be a cultural dependent part uh, when we develop the educational program. And here is a collaboration plan for international e-learning cultivating program. Uh, so in near future, uh, we would like to uh, start like a pilot study doing uh, like a, uh, providing e-learning professional cultivating program between you know, among TCU and also Eritrea. Eritrea is uh, one of African country and they just started ICT education and we can collect some information about cultural differences and also uh, cultural independent parts of our program. And then uh, I would like to introduce other project doing at Elupco uh, currently. We are redevelop uh, e-learning professional card even program for workplace training. And uh, we also doing research on competency portfolio, uh, which is granted as uh, a cyber campus project by Minister of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology in Japan. So we would like to use uh, different kind of technology to enhance e-learning. Um, 
This is uh, our presentation. Thank you very much for kind attention.